and welcome to Curtsy Crochet Hooks. Please enjoy our free tutorials with just one of a 24 part series on teaching you how to crochet. Subscribe to start receiving our 24 courses that are delivered to your email inbox every few days. By the time you're done, you'll know the ins and outs of crochet. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. So now let's get crocheting with Curtsy. Welcome everybody to Curtsy Crochet Hooks. I'm your host, Michael Selleck, and you're gonna be joining me for the next few weeks as I teach you how to crochet. To everything from how to sit properly, how to hold your hooks, what hooks should you be using, the yarn to match your hooks, as well as the chaining, single crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, triple crochet. Also you got front posts, back posts, back loops, front loops, all of that jazz in order to really change your designs when it comes to crochet. We're going to be pushing you into levels that actually are going to make you feel very proud of yourself by the end of this. Curtsy Crochet Hooks, well they're a crochet hook company and I have four examples but there's actually more kits available. And the first one we have is a bamboo and they have it in various different sizes, even sizes that are very uncommon to find. Um, they actually have a really good market pull on bamboo. They also have these beautiful uh, Tunisian and they have them in many different sizes and I've actually never seen them with the actual knob put at the end like that. Really nice heavy quality. And another example is the steel hooks and they are, are beautifully colored, really brightly labeled so you don't ever misunderstand what hooks you're working with. And uh, again, if you look at the one kit underneath of it, um, again, similar kind of idea, but this one comes with threading crochet hooks. So if you want to get into threading, there's the way to go. So here's how it's going to work and all you just need to do is sign up for a newsletter. That's all you got to do. We're going to take care of the rest. Every few days we're going to send you an update and inside the newsletter you should take a look at it. It'll be relevant content to crochet. It's more than just knowing how to move your hook. It's about understanding the materials that you're working with. It's even the yarn. Just temp simple techniques here and there that make you better understand. And inside these same newsletters are going to be the next links to the actual videos. So not only are you going to be able to learn theory, but you're actually going to learn practicality when it comes to videos that will be put inside these newsletters. If you know me from other crochet channels, you will know that I teach at a very comfortable level and I'm one kind of guy that I actually like to keep the video going long after it should probably be turned off. So I like to show the step over and over and over again so that you can actually understand and I talk my way slowly. But not only am I just saying jam in the hook in the hole, I tell you why it's important to do that because I'm giving you the inside tips on being able to learn. Now if you think that I'm going too fast at any point you can put me on pause and catch yourself back up. But if you think that I'm going too slow and you understand the concept right off the bat, what you just need to do is slide the bar on the video and just move me more forward in time so that we can both be working. Either way, you're in complete control of your education. So Mikey, you're a guy, you're online, you're crocheting, you know what's with that because that's like completely out on left field. And I tell you, I've been crocheting for 23 years and my mom taught me when I was 14. And you know, I, in high school I was just a social mess. I had no friends, I didn't know how to socialize with people, I was moving a lot as a child so I never had any friends to retain onto. And so crochet really gave me a sense of purpose when I was at home. And so in front of the TV I'd sit there for hours and just like, oh, you know, you'd reach into the popcorn bowl, you'd go into all that, and by the end of the night you got nothing to show for your time. And yet my mom was also sitting in front of the TV, but she was popping scarf after scarf after scarf. And it was all going to charity and I thought to myself, that's neat. You know, she's putting her time to good use. So I asked my mom and she taught me immediately. I asked her and we were making dinner. She said, grab a crochet hook, some yarn, and I'll show you. Now I did a double afghan just within a two months of learning how to crochet but I became very bored of the double crochet. Oh my God, Yonville. And so what I did is I went to um, an art store, picked up a, a book on how to crochet many different things. And from that, I was able to learn. Now what I did notice with myself is that I like to learn very visually, but I also like memory hooks. And you're gonna be noticing throughout the series is that I'm gonna be giving you memory hooks because you should be able to turn off this video at any point and be able to remember what I told you because it's like the double crochet you wrap and through, pull through, then two and two. And if you can remember it through a memory hook, you'll find yourself learning a lot faster and it's something that you will have for a lifetime. So now the choice is up to you. Stay with Curtsy and learn how to crochet or just take your chances online. Now what I'm gonna tell you is that I do broadcast for other channels, but Curtsy Crochet Hooks is the only channel that I'm teaching in sequential order. So, and other different channels, including my own, is that I just teach 
wire jewelry today. Tomorrow it might be the Catherine wheel stitch, it could be front post work the next day. It varies depending on my mood swing. <laughs> With curtsy crochet hooks, they will be in sequential order, so we're just going to work our ways from lessons 1 to 24, and by the time you're done, number 24, you'll actually be able to figure things out for yourself and be able to move yourself up into levels that you never thought was possible. So now it's up to you. You can either subscribe or move along. But I hope you subscribe because this is going to be the coolest channel If you ever. just subscribe, we're going to boost you on to lesson number one. And in lesson number one, we're going to teach you how to sit properly. What key things should you look for? Not to crink your neck, to make your arms sore, you know, the weight of your shoulders. Everything like that will be addressed, including on just being able to start chaining. So subscribe, and then we're going to start you off with lesson number one as we continue the process. We'll see you on lesson number one. Until next time, I'm your host, Mikey.